In this example, we are asked to find the power spectral density of a random process, which is shown over here. So we have a variable which is A, and this A is positive. That is, it is greater than or equal to zero. So we are asked to illustrate the autocorrelation function mathematically and roughly sketch it. We are also asked to find the average power of this process. So in order to solve this problem, we know that the autocorrelation function that is Rx of tau, this is a Fourier transform pair of this function that is PST Sx of omega. So what we need to do is we need to find the pair of 4a over a square plus omega square of the PST. But we know that 2a over a square plus omega square as per the Fourier transform table this is simply e raised to power minus a absolute value of tau and from linearity we multiply at 2 and we would multiply 2 on the left side to make it consistent so this would yield the autocorrelation function that is desired which is rx of tau so this is equivalent to 2 e raised to power minus a absolute value of tau. So this is our autocorrelation function which is plotted over here in the black curve. So this is simply 2 e raised to power minus a absolute value of tau. So we are done with the sketching part of it. Now for the average power of this process, the formulation is that the power is simply 1 over 2 pi integration from minus infinity to infinity this power spectral density s x of omega d omega so that is we have 1 over 2 pi times 4 a that is we have taken out the 4 a and then the integration minus infinity to infinity and the remaining terms which is 1 over a square plus omega square d omega now solving this we have 1 over 2 pi times 4 a by a so there's an a coming out of this integration tan inverse omega by a and we have used the trigonometric property note that the limits are from minus infinity to infinity so hence this a would cancel with the a in denominator and 2 would yield a 2 in the numerator so based on this range which is from minus infinity to infinity so the tan inverse of omega by a would simply be in terms of pi by 2 right so this would lead to 2 by pi pi by 2 plus pi by 2 and hence this is simply 2 and that is the average power of this process is 2.